It's week 12 of the National Football League, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Saints and the Falcons. All that and more coming up next. The weather this time of year in the South, perfect. Fall football weather, and we've got the roof wide open here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the heart of Georgia. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis, and Charles, we... The New Orleans offense set to take over. Coming off every player's friend, the open lead for them. Now a play fake here on first down. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. Shifts by him. 12 yards there. Good for a Saints first down. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This is Smith to the ground. 25 yards that time. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play call right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it? kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Back to throw. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Saints are on the board first here this afternoon. The touchdown giving them the first quarter lead. Remember, they lost a rough game two weeks ago. Then they had to sit through the open week, but a good. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. On the previous drive, he hooked up with Chris Alave for the touchdown. And now they'll try to do something like that again here. First and 10. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. He'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Well, we both know there's a lot that went into why they made it their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. They'll look to throw now on first down. Now get this out to Kamara. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. The Saints at six and four now on the year, and they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. He'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. That is caught. Traquan Smith. Touchdown, Saints. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's got two touchdown passes on his first two drives, and he'll try again here on drive three. On play action, they'll throw. That one complete down the field to Smith. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 46 yards. Well, my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. They'll look to throw here. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. That's a big force of completion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal, because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Back to throw here. And he slings one that's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, Parker. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll set up a throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. Touchdown, Saints! Alvin Kamara taking it in. And the Saints take a three touch. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Forced out to his left. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Back to throw now on second and ten. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. 
Now it's third down. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Kamara trying the right side. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And this will wind up a Saints first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. They'll set up to throw. He'll buy some time right. It's caught on the right side at Smith. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. On first down, he'll drop to throw. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Obviously, a big play was needed, and you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes, and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but touchdown! Alvin Kamara, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Saints go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? He had the touchdown pass on that previous drive, number 25 for him on the year. And he'll look to keep it rolling first down. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. He's on his way across midfield. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara as the first half is winding down. And the Saints are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. This one swung out to Williams. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. They go play action here on first down. Steps away. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. And this is a rarity in the NFL. 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen. And, of course, a special player. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. 151 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Here we go with Kamara. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. A give to Kamara running right. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, as the defense rallies quickly after the nice move. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary now on third. He'll look to throw. And this one taken in by Alave. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Back to throw now on first down. And this is incomplete. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot, of, a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, both we, enjoy. We share we, that. We enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's going to be hard to parse who's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it really is. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. 
partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Looking to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Back to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Now back to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Saints continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Brandon, you know I'm all about quarterbacks protecting themselves, but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, I think it's pretty evident that any blowout isn't going to be big enough for them. They're already up seven full touchdowns, and it's still not stopping them from throwing it deep downfield, taking their shots, trying to add more points. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. They're gonna look to throw. And this one complete to Smith. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. They call his number again, it's his sixth catch and a first down. Here's Kamara off the draw. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Calais Campbell on the stop. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Drives the left side and finds Alave. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. On play action, they'll throw. Rolling to his left. Got an open man. It's Alave. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. He has really settled in throwing the football. And that touchdown here in the fourth. 
So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and 